Hey, today we're going to be setting up a MailerLite account by importing an existing email list. This is a pretty straightforward process, so let's go ahead and get started. Hey, thanks for watching. My name is Steve with Nonprofit Ally, and on this channel, we like to help nonprofits optimize their web presence by teaching you skills such as what we're going to go into today. And today, we're going to talk about MailerLite, specifically about creating an account and getting your mailing list started by importing your existing mailing list. So there's two things you're going to need for this tutorial. One is a MailerLite account. Pretty easy to set up, so simply go to MailerLite at MailerLite.com, and you're going to just click the Sign Up button over here. And on this page, you're simply going to fill in your information to create this free account. MailerLite accounts are free for anyone um, with lists of up to 1,000 emails. This is the mailing list I recommend that most people start with because it's free and has lots of great features, and it's easy to use. Now, I'm not going to go into the full details on how to set up this account once you have it created. It's going to ask you information about your nonprofit and your address and your purpose and things like that. Just go ahead and go through that. It's not very difficult, and you'll also have to confirm your email, of course. Once it's set up, you are ready to import any existing mailing list you have, and that is step two. So importing a mailing list is pretty straightforward. Most likely, if you already have one, you're going to be able to export that list as a CSV file or as an Excel spreadsheet. And it should look something like this. Now, this is a very basic spreadsheet here. It basically just has an email and a name. Your export may also have a first name, last name column. It may have an address column, a zip code column, a phone number column. All those are good and fine. But you just want to make sure that your spread spreadsheet, your CSV file or Excel file, is, um, is clean. You don't have any empty cells in there or anything like that. And then it is ready for import. So let's go ahead and import this now. All right, so when you log into the dashboard of MailerLite, it's going to look basically like this. And the way to import this list is to simply go up to subscribers up here at the top, click on subscribers. And what you're going to do is you're going to add your subscribers. So that's over here, this little orange button. Go ahead and click add subscribers. And now it's going to prompt you to simply drag and drop your Excel spreadsheet into here. Now, there's other ways to go ahead and do this. You can actually um, copy paste if you actually want to just right click, copy and then paste it in. You can add a single subscriber. So one by one. So maybe you only have two or three of them. You're just going to type them in by hand. Maybe all your board members or maybe you just don't have a mailing list yet. and You're just going to type them in by hand or you could actually import from MailChimp, which is this next option here. We're just going to go along with the straight import from a CSV file. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to select this from our computer. And here is my CSV file. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to open it. It confirms that this is going to be the file that you're uploading. We're going to go ahead and import. Now, once it's imported, MailerLite is going to check with you about all the columns that you have in your CSV file to make sure it matches up with where it wants to place them. So if you have an email column, a first name column, and a last name column, and an address, and a zip code, and a phone number, you can go through and match these fields accordingly. So mine's pretty straightforward. I only have two columns. I have the email column, which is here. And then column two here is actually the first name column. And right now it's asking me here which one it belongs to. You do have the option to skip any columns. It may be unneeded or unwanted. Sometimes when you export a file from a program, it may include like the date it's exported on or the customer ID. These aren't things you need in the mailing list. So a lot of times you can just start skipping all this unneeded content. In this case, I'm just going to assign this to the name field. So that column two and my spreadsheet, which is the first name, is now belongs to the name field in MailerLite. And I'm going to add these subscribers. It may take a minute, depending on the size of your list, for it to get imported. But you can see here that 70 subscribers have been added. It says here that below there are seven ones that have not been added due to some type of problem. You can simply scroll down to them and see what the issues are. Um, in this case, there are redundant ones on here. 
so they're not going to add those and that's fine and then there's other ones that may be banned now sometimes emails get banned for um, their email actually might be on a ban list or in this case these are most likely because the usernames are not typically ones that would be put into a mailing list like admin info sales contact at sometimes mailing list will just exclude those from being added so in this case it's not going to allow us to add those to this list so at this point you can return to your subscriber list and you can see that we now have all of our subscribers added um, 71 total contacts added to this list now your mailer light is ready to use you can compose an email and send it out to all your subscribers which we'll go to in the next video. Hey folks, thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it informative. If you enjoy this content and want to see more, be sure to subscribe down below. Even ring that bell so you can get notifications when we upload new content. And if you'd like to try MailerLite, and again, it's free, you can go down below in the description. There is a link there that will get you directly to MailerLite. It is an affiliate link, which means I may get um, a little bit of money if you do subscribe to their paid version, but it's not going to cost you anything more. Thanks so much, folks. Hope you have a great day.